famous landmarks that were almost destroyed. Hey everyone, it's Alexa again, and welcome back to another video. While some structures from hundreds of years ago have fallen into ruin, many historical monuments still exist in the world. They've been there for so long that we may not realize there were moments when these edifices were nearly pulverized out of existence. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. The Colosseum The Colosseum has been around since the first century CE and it's still around. However, that doesn't mean it didn't have a significant amount of damage throughout the years. It was hit by lightning not once, but twice. The first time was in 217, setting the wooden floor of the arena on fire. The second happened in 320, though it was not as devastating as the previous lightning hit. In the 6th century, people pillaged the building for its materials, which happened shortly after the fall of the Roman Empire. The Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower was constructed as an entrance for the 1889 World's Fair. It is currently the most visited paid monument in the world. In 2015 alone, 6.91 million people ascended the Eiffel Tower, which stands at 1,063 feet tall. It is the tallest structure in Paris, but was only supposed to be up for 20 years before it would be dismantled. That never happened, of course. However, it was nearly destroyed in World War II anyway. Great Wall of China Brick, stone, tamped earth, and wood make up the most massive human-made structure in the world. China built the first portions of the wall in the 7th century to create a fortification against its enemies. The most recognizable walls were not constructed until 1368 through 1644. In tandem with protection, the Great Wall of China was also utilized as a way to transport goods via the Silk Road. Was there a point when enemies tried to penetrate such a protective structure? Yes, but no one got very far. If anything, the biggest threat to the Great Wall is tourists. Many tourists have vandalized the wall with graffiti and have worn away at the floor with all of that foot traffic. Some areas have been demolished to make way for new buildings. Shwedagon Pagoda The Shwedagon Pagoda is considered the most sacred Buddhist pagoda in Myanmar. Also called the Golden Pagoda, real gold plates line the outside of the building, layered over a brick structure. At the top, diamonds and rubies cover the crown. The gilded stupa, a mound-like structure, has been around since the 6th century AD. In 2008, Cyclone Nargis sliced through Myanmar, causing 84,000 fatalities, with 1,400 temples damaged or destroyed. Among them was Shwedagon, which sustained damage but was not completely obliterated like many of its neighboring structures. Leaning Tower of Pisa War brings a lot of destruction to most of the nations involved, and none was as famously devastating as World War II. When the American military suspected German soldiers were utilizing the Leaning Tower of Pisa as an observation post, they ran a mission to try and get as close to the tower as possible. On the order of one 23-year-old soldier, American soldiers would open fire. However, he claims he couldn't see well enough to go through with the order, and that part of him was also afraid of destroying the tower. Pyramids of Giza Recently, there have been reports of rapid deterioration regarding the pyramids of Giza. These pyramids date back to 2500 BC, dedicated to different great pharaohs that ruled over Egypt. There's still a lot of mystery that surrounds these landmarks, such as how did ancient peoples put together such large and sturdy structures, and what is the complete landscape inside the great pyramids? However, those mysteries might need to be put on hold because the pyramids are gradually being corroded away from the high volume of tourists. Buckingham Palace Everyone knows Buckingham Palace is the home of the British royal family, but it did not become the residence of the British monarchy until Queen Victoria moved in during 1837. Before then, it was a townhouse built for the Duke of Buckingham in 1703 and later became the Queen's House for Queen Charlotte after King George III acquired it in 1761. During World War II, the city of London came under siege 71 times in less than a year. Several bombs struck the palace, though it has been successful successfully restored. Machu Picchu The trek to Machu Picchu isn't exactly an easy one, but almost everyone who has been there will tell you it's worth it. The old Incan citadel towers over the sacred valley in the Cusco region of Peru. The Inca built Machu Picchu in the 15th century and constructed it from polished, dry stone walls. It was initially made to be an estate for Emperor Pachacuti. Machu Picchu is facing the same problem as places like the Great Wall and the pyramids. Heavy visitation is causing the area to break down, even faster than it would have over time. The site may have survived the Spanish invasion centuries ago, but UNESCO warns that its tourists may bring about the ruin of this historic complex if the Peruvian government doesn't take measures to preserve it. Jaisalmer 
The golden city of Jaisalmer is located in the Indian state of Rajasthan. People love coming here to take in the beautiful sandstone architecture, making it seem like a kingdom from a fairy tale. The city's founding goes back to the medieval era and has lasted this long. However, the last 10 years have proved brutal for this old town. Tourism has spiked upwards significantly, which may be useful for the economy, but bad for the preservation. Sandstone is much more susceptible to water damage than other building materials. Jasalmar has yet to update its sewage system. With the more substantial amount of people visiting, the water leaks from the pipes and into the sandstone. Stonehenge Some people believe that aliens made the prehistoric monument of Stonehenge. It's an unlikely theory, but since scientists lack an explanation as to how ancient peoples could have put something this massive together, it's not out of the question. What is in the question is how long this iconic relic is going to stay intact. Over the years, people have caused the erosion of the stone, though unintentionally so. Because of this, experts have had to restore parts of the stone's appearance to make it look nicer, as opposed to what it accurately used to look like. Therefore, it's difficult to say if the Stonehenge you're looking at is the Stonehenge that existed thousands of years ago. Tulum Tulum is located on the coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. People flock here from all over the world to relax on the exquisite white sand beaches and tour the ancient ruins and boat past the twisting mangroves. The Mayans once inhabited this area and left an old walled city in their wake. Over one million people vacation in this resort town, crowding beaches with foot traffic and establishments like hotels, shopping centers, and amusement parks. With all these rising developments, including a new airport, a lot of the historically important spots are being pushed aside to make way. The Sphinx, back to Egypt. Next on the list is the second most famous landmark from the Old Kingdom after the Pyramids of Giza. The Sphinx is located on the west bank of the Nile River. This limestone statue was sculpted to look like a reclining sphinx, a creature with the head of a human and the body of a lion. It measures 240 feet from paw to tail and 66 feet high. Ancient Egyptians made the Sphinx 4,500 years ago, which they nicknamed the Father of Dread. You'll notice that it is missing a nose. It's also missing a beard. Supposedly, a man named Muhammad Saim al-Dar destroyed the face during the 14th century because people were making offerings to the statue. He later paid the highest price for his crimes. Cologne Cathedral This Catholic cathedral stands at 515 feet tall and is currently the tallest twin-spired church in the world. Cologne Cathedral is a staple of the Cologne skyline and is Germany's most visited landmark. Construction began in 1248, though it was not completed until 1473. It came to near annihilation during World War II due to a barrage of bombs dropped by the RAF, which included 1,500 metric tons of high explosives. Astoundingly, the cathedral only sustained superficial battering. Even after the citywide fires that followed, Cologne Cathedral remained tall and fixed on its foundation. Washington Monument This pointed obelisk was built to commemorate the first president of the United States, George Washington. It is 554.7 feet tall, making it the tallest column in the world. For a while, it was the tallest structure in the world, until the Eiffel Tower came along. Washington Monument is hollow inside, with stairs that spiral upwards and an elevator in the middle. However, it nearly never existed. During its construction in 1854, the anti-Catholic and anti-immigration party, called the Know-Nothings, tried to stop the process. They stole stone, which came from the Roman Temple of Concord and was donated by the Vatican, and dumped it into the Potomac River. Over 100 years later, in 2011, cracks appeared throughout the tower because of the 5.8 magnitude earthquake that occurred in Washington, D.C. The White House the White House serves as the official residence and workplace of the president. James Holbin designed the home in the neoclassical style, which was popular during the 18th century and borrowed a lot from Roman and Greek architecture. In 1814, during James Madison's presidency, the British invaded and ransacked the White House. Afterward, they set the White House and the rest of Washington on fire. Strangely enough, three tornadoes swept through the area, bringing winds and rain, which extinguished the flames. The White House was eventually rebuilt, but Madison never moved back in. Notre Dame In French, Notre Dame de Paris means Our Lady of Paris. Consecrated to the Virgin Mary, this medieval Catholic cathedral is located in the neighborhood known as the 4th arrondissement of Paris. Development began in 1160 and was completed in 1260. Many consider it one of the most recognizable features of France. Every year, 12 million people visit Notre Dame. Sadly, on the evening of April 15th this year, the old church became engulfed in flames. It burned for 
16 hours and endured severe damage. That wasn't the first time something similar happened to Notre Dame. During the 1790s, the French Revolution left the cathedral battered from all the riots and looting. A lot of the religious imagery was either destroyed or nearly so. Before we reveal number one, we've got a question to ask. What is a place you've always wanted to travel but haven't been able to see yet? Let us know in the comments below. The City of London. Once upon a time, an enormous fire nearly eliminated the entire city of London from the face of the earth. This historical incident is known as, unsurprisingly, the Great Fire of London. The city burned for four days in 1666, which gutted the English capital. The fire expended most of the building's authorities, St. Paul's Cathedral, 87 parish churches, and 13,000 houses. It destroyed 70,000 homes and displaced 80,000 people. The whole catastrophe occurred during the summertime, leaving the wooden buildings and thatched roofs tinder dry from the heat. London was also experiencing a massive drought at the time. The fire started at a bakery, which spread to the adjoining houses and then eventually everywhere else. London has experienced widespread flames at least six times before and once after, not counting the immense destruction brought on by the Blitz in World War II. Despite all of that, London remains a major metropolitan center. 